How many genders are there? I don't know. I just got here. They also studied the way gay and straight people talk. Hey, what up, y'all? I drive a Dodge Charger Hellcat. Sounds straight to me. And is straight. Hello, I drive a Tesla Model 3. Gay. A lot of people think it's weird that, like, you do a and we've been dating for almost a year now and I still haven't hit. Okay, why do we care about other people's opinions? I mean, I was just presenting the question. Maybe. You know how I feel about it? Like, I am a high value woman. Yeah. And, like, I can't just be giving my body. Like, I, I don't know, like, purity. I told you, like, purity is like a big deal for me. So, and it, I'm not forcing you to stay. Like, you can leave whenever you want. You can't respect those boundaries. So, she wants to be pure, and she's a high value woman, but she's selling pictures and videos of her nipples for a price online for the whole world to see, but she still won't let you hit. Mate, do the right thing and run away. She probably won't even let him see her body, but he can see it if he wants to pay for it. Let me get the fuck out of here. Joy, just wondering, do you think people with trunk derangement out. syndrome know they have it? Out. You're an idiot. And second question, did you steal you Trump's haircut or did he steal idiot. yours? Cultural appropriation haircut right there. I mean, I was transitioning. We were in a really bad part of the hood. Because when you are somebody like me who transitions like in their 20s, you're thrown into womanhood and you have to learn how to deal with all these crazy guys that are after you because you're like, you know, fresh meat. Like you're born a dude or whatever. You know. Thrown into womanhood is an absolutely insane statement to make. Like, no one's thrown into womanhood. Even Joe Budden was shocked. He didn't say anything, but we all knew what he was thinking, didn't we? So, yeah. Anyway, this is a funny one. So, Dean Kane says, I think neither of you are girls. If you don't know who they are, I'm not going to go into it. Go and look them up. They're pretty weird. All right, that's actually an understatement. But anyway, someone responded. Some woke person said, yeah, and you were never Superman. And he said, correct, I pretended. Ah. Checkmate. Anyway, let's get into the main part of the video. Just to put a fine point on it right yeah. now, for the 4.7 million Americans who have received this debt relief, the average, as you said at the start of this yeah, visit, 35. was $35,000 their relief has been for. So I guess, why don't those individuals who didn't receive $35,000 in debt cancellation deserve a $35,000 check from other Americans for what other means they would want to use it? You're talking about... Those people who didn't go to college, so they're not getting debt relief, the $35,000 that they don't get because they mean, didn't go. We're talking about folks who are in debt who are literally being crushed. Literally being crushed because they took, an, they took you know, they're they literally took... literally being crushed. Let's be financially. Okay, is that okay with you? Okay. But, I know. But crushed financially. Um, and, uh, and so they're trying to get their lives back on track. Right? They're trying to get into a place because they took, uh, they took a bet on themselves in a different way, right? A bet of, of themselves and going to college. And some of them, it is difficult to do that, right? And they did that. Financially, it's hurt them. And we want to give them that breathing room. They want to pay off the student loan because they're getting financially crushed. Why does it matter where the debt's coming from? If you took a risk and you bought a house and you can't make payments on that, then will you get $35,000 from the taxpayers? Fuck no, baby. <laughs> so what's the difference apart from where the debt is coming from? Some people can't even go to college. They don't have that privilege. Are they going to get $35,000? It's a good question and she couldn't answer it. So a lot of people actually believe that it's quite obvious why they're doing this is because they're trying to buy votes. So yeah, that could be a possibility. Let me know down below what you think. What is a woman to you? What? Fuck, that's a really complicated question. Man, come what? on, man. That's an insanely fucking complicated question. In philosophy, there's a thing called a qualia, okay? So, like, what is it like to experience something, okay? Behind you is a red curtain. If you've never seen the color red before, and I say, you know, there's a red curtain behind you, I can never actually express what that qualia is to you. You're not going to know unless you experience it yourself, right? Right. So for instance, when I say table and I tell you to define a table, you can never give me a definition that encompasses all tables and excludes all things that aren't tables, right? Do they always have four legs? Is it something you can sit on or not? Like, it's really complicated. So when you say like, well, what is like a woman? Well, when you say woman, then in the context, it lights up a whole bunch of concepts. So woman, um, you know. A woman <laughs> walks by, she's got tits and a vagina. <laughs> Female and male is not complicated, but people overcomplicate it to fit their narrative. This is my definition okay, of woman. go for it. A human being with female reproductive parts. Okay. Women have tits and these have nuts and balls and <laughs> cocks. Yeah, and most exactly. of the time that'll be true, but... But yeah. even if I'm a... Let's say I want to be a woman. Mm -hmm. I could dress like a woman. I get all sick. I could be the baddest bitch on the block. Standing on the floor making all kinds of money. It still doesn't change the fact that I'm actually a guy. 
I can't stand this guy Destiny man, he just basically said nothing in about 500 words. Try to compare women to tables. I mean if we want to look at it like the way he's looking at it, take a table and a chair. I'm pretty sure virtually everyone on the planet could unanimously agree the difference between a table and a chair. So a man and a woman is no different apart from now a lot of people have been brainwashed and start believing it. That's the only difference, it's like a political tool and all the delusional people are like yeah yeah I agree with that yeah because I don't fit in anywhere so I'm going to use pronouns to fit in. I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. These are his beliefs and he's welcome to them. I don't have to believe him. This what? is um, someone who's practicing something called the traditional Latin yes. mass. Yes. Which is divergent from the majority of Catholics. It's compared to being cult-like and extremist like some religions in the Middle East and Asia. <laughs> well, Sarah, Whoopi, everything that the man is saying have constantly been proven by, here's the word, data. Data is not belief. It's data. Married women with children are happier than those who are unmarried or those who are married and do not have children. And children with married biological parents tend to have better outcomes. So it's very sad that everything that was normal five minutes ago is now extreme in the eyes of modern liberalism and feminism. Toxic feminism. I call it toxic feminism. I bet TikTok won't like this. Zuckerberg won't like this. It's called toxic feminism because modern liberalism and toxic feminism is destroying the structure of family. And that's not an opinion or a belief. It's a fact. Obviously, he wasn't on the show. If you didn't guess already, you could probably tell because he didn't get interrupted about 50 times. Now they're reacting to Harrison Butker, who apparently made a controversial speech by telling female graduates that one of their most important roles in life will be homemaker. Apparently, that's no controversial. He also went on to say, some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. How dare you? This person said, I'm sorry, but even though technically he has the right to speak this way and I'm not trying to take that right away, I think the petition to remove someone supporting hate from such an influential position is absolutely justified, okay? So basically, you think he should have the right to free speech, but if it goes against your beliefs, then he should be fired, okay. Someone said he isn't advocating for hate, lol. He is advocating for his beliefs and his religion, so you think he should have no job or anything because his opinions do not align with yours. He worked hard to get to where he is, and just because his values and ideology do not agree with yours does not mean you can remove him for zero reason reason other than you're basically offended that's what these people are like now obviously the view have reacted to this which is hilarious because if you remember not that long ago didn't the view have a whole segment dedicated to how useless men are and now they're sitting here trying to act like what he said is controversial absolutely crazy guys let me know what you think down below first off you guys do know the pentagon has a budget for film there's a whole department in the pentagon that. that's a fact there you go that's that's all you need to know there's an entire department uh, in the pentagon they get involved with films and they get involved with films for the purpose of propaganda. They always have. Hit certain people and this was before we called things promotion and marketing. You know what I mean? That's... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hollywood is not really there to entertain you. Like that's great that that happens. But um, propaganda is something that is important to all civilizations. What movie the I should have said from? Pentagon instead of CIA. Tons of them. I should show you the list. You should pull it up. Oh, it's right wild. Yeah, please. Pentagon Department for Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Tons of them. So have to Even Transformers. This. Even Transformers, like, you know, because they're concerned about certain narratives. They get involved with, like, World War films, like, how are we telling a story about history? Usually it's because we're lying about what we did or trying not to make Americans aware of the crimes against humanity that oh. we commit overseas, you know? Yeah, the Pentagon just funded some films, Black Hawk Down, Red Dawn, GoldenEye. The more you know, so now you understand your experience in theaters is what your government wants you to think. They want you to think that this is how things happen and it's usually not at all how things have actually yeah. happened. Six of the best movies made with help from the Department of Defense. This is military. Yeah. There's two inputs, Don and Laura, my wife, Laura. Okay, if I'm wrong and Laura's right, this is a really easy one. Laura's right, that's simple. Thank you very much. <laughs> that one seemed obvious to me. Believe it or not, from here, it gets complicated. Okay, if we're both right, it doesn't matter. 
Laura's right. Thank you very much. That's the key. I would rather be happy than be right. That's what I'm thinking. If I'm right and Laura's wrong, doesn't matter. Laura's still right. And if we're both wrong, uh, Donna's wrong. What happens when trans influencers start complaining about a lack of gender roles? Take a listen to this beautiful it. I feel like a lot of boys need to start being boys, though. Like when it comes to like the male roles, because a lot of like men nowadays are expecting princess treatment. And it's like, OK, well, I want that energy just as much as but just as bad as you do. That's enough of that shit today. I can't take any more. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.